was this fixture over three months ago where Plymouth's victory against Hull meant they survived in the Sky Bet Championship on the final day of the season. That win for Plymouth broke Carl Hart as they missed out on the playoffs. Four changes for Plymouth from the 4 0 loss to Sheffield Wednesday at the weekend. Edwards, Mumba, Randall, and Hardy will come in as Pelson or Betton JP to Jan and drop out. Hull make one change to the one more draw at Bristol City as Liam Miller replaces Matty Jacob. Towards Malum. McLaughlin is up from the back into a stooping yet. Gibson in the way of it. But it was prodded through to Estupin Yan. He was central. Looking to try and strike it towards goal. Liam Gibson, luckily for Plymouth, sniffed it out and knew exactly what was going on. He's in the right place. This is Oka, who's already shown in very early parts of his Plymouth career what he can do. Bundu onto Whitaker. He'll go for it. Wait at Igor Panda. That is what Morgan Whitaker is all about. We've seen him do it time after time last season for the Pilgrims. First attempt this afternoon, and it was easy for the keeper. Not the best of passes out from the back by Panda. Can Plymouth make it pay? Joe Edwards has put it wide. Well, it was his winner in early May that secured survival for Plymouth. And he had a chance there to put them on the up in the very next game that these two would meet, but... Nice is it wide of Panda's goal. And Volta, the Hull City head coach, doesn't want another goalkeeping error like Racioppi made the other day in the defeat to Wednesday. There is now Malum. There is now a chance for Umer. It's blocked. Umer again. And he's gone wide. Well, Stupinian claiming there's a penalty that should be given for his side. The Plymouth defence um, outfielder is saying that they are hard done by about something, but Irma got the shot away. It was blocked by Galloway, came back to him. Gibson slid in, might have caught him, just as he was trying to tap in the rebound as he attempted the second effort. As the referee feels the protest and boos from both sets of teams. But right into the back of... Irma there, and it is a free kick for Hull. Came crashing into him, did Ali Mumba. Irma there first. Mumba catches him. Irma takes. It isn't quite as spectacular as he hoped for. Well, he lined it up. Certain technique like a CR7 would usually, but would fire it wide. To see that again anytime soon. Whitaker. Edwards on his right. Looks ahead of him to Ryan Hardy. Takes it up first time. That was wide of Panda's goal. Ryan Hardy was the forward option for Whitaker. He could have gone to his right and found Edwards. Didn't. Went ahead of him to Hardy, better option. And he just wider the goal from the Plymouth number nine. Mumba. Get forward here, but shoved in the back by Alfie Jones. Plymouth allowed to take quickly here. Now Whitaker. Coming in from that position, on towards Hardy. He may look to shoot. He's gone towards Sizoko, who gets the shot away! A first goal in the Plymouth Green for Sizoko, and it's one to leave his opponents feeling green. A finish that his head coach would have been proud of, and it's one that gives Plymouth the lead. Ibrahim Sissoko has dazzled in his short time as a Plymouth player and he's finally now able to open his account as a Plymouth player 
Oh, he couldn't shoot. Fear not. Jizoko could. He was on hand to get it past Panda at his near post and give Plymouth the lead. Panda looking just ahead of him, giving away again. Four short. Sizoko held on to by the keeper. Well, that's another example of Holt trying to play it from the back and not getting it right. Panda passing to nobody in white. Fortunately for him, Sizoko's shot was not good enough. It was pretty routine for the whole keeper. Turn back into the whole right back who's carrying on going here. It's a really good run, this. Miller. Coyle wanting it, Coyle getting it and produces that! Whole city level! And would you believe it's Louis Coyle? And would you believe even more that's on his weaker foot? Connor Hazard left with no chance. It's a fine reply from Hull City's captain to White Plymouth's lead out. Miller onto Coyle, he wanted it, he fancied it, and boy, did he get that right. Right into the corner, get some help from the post. Hull City levelling up, and Plymouth not in the lead anymore. He scored one championship goal last season. And he's already equaled that just two games into the current campaign. Randall onto Whitaker first time. Wide of the goal. You just knew what Whitaker was going to do even before that ball reached him. He was going to take that on first time and look to try and beat Panda at his near post. But it curls away from the goal. Doesn't test Panda at all. JB. Ready is Saka now. Going to shoot here, deflects and Panda saves. And then Hull get it clear. Well, Ready is Saka looking to make a big impact after coming off from the bench. Malum. Up now to Liam Miller, already shown his credentials on this game. Carrying on going across the goal and wide. Well, he went for goal himself this time round, did Liam Miller. Only just wide of Hazard's goal. Well, he took on Joe Edwards. Edwards, remember, can't dive in, or even if he catches Miller, he's probably going to get a second yellow. Had to let him go past him and had to hope that either Hazard saved or it went wide. It went wide. That attempt from Liam Miller. Miller. Lovely first time ball onto Giles, he will hit it. And will hit it straight through to Hazard. Bobbles on through, in fact, to the Plymouth goalkeeper. Randall. It's their time for winner in this game. Into JB. Ferociously hit. One that doesn't stay down. JB taking the shot on. But Plymouth are able to get their first points of the new season and under their new head coach, Wayne Rooney. And put, and, sorry, put an end to a disappointing opening game for Hull. It's two draws out of two. As Louis Coyle cancels out, the opener from Ibrahim Sizoko full-time. It is finished here, Plymouth 1, Hull City 1.